Hey guys, and welcome to Q&A Fridays, the day where I answer your personal question. Oh my god, my nipple is hard. Woo! Woo. Woo. Anyway, um, <laughs> the first question I have is, would you ever date someone who's 5'5"? Five five? Yes. I think I actually would. Because to me, it has something to do with personality. It's not just physical appearance. I mean, yes, there has to be something that physically draws me to that person, and that's basically how any relationship starts. You, know, you see something in them and something about them that really turns you on or you find really attractive and then you want to get to know that person but then after that it becomes personality that goes with whether it's height or race or just I guess proportion weight things like that I mean those are second to me I mean yeah it draws me in at first but after that it's just, it's just benefits it's just things that you reap rewards from it's just like oh yeah my boyfriend look mad cute mm but not really anything that has to do with their personality or a reason why I actually would consider dating them. And the next question we have is, do you typically go... Yeah, that, 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 that. Do you typically date guys... I can't read. I go to college. <laughs> typically date guys who have the same build as you, or what I'm really asking, would I ever date a twink? Yes. I mean, if I really like that person, and we have a lot in common, some... We have the same mora uh, morality sort of different things, I mean, it's not just physical appearance, and a lot of people, I feel a lot of people, especially gay men, base everything off physical appearance, and no, not everyone has to be like this, like, hey guys, yeah, I haven't had a carb in weeks, yeah, look at my abs, mmm, no, no, I don't even, honestly, I think abs are just, like, there, they're not really the most attractive thing in the world, or the most attractive feature, like, if you don't have abs, who cares, really? Guys, you don't have to look like a fucking Greek god to be a great person or to get in a relationship. And a lot of people, I feel, don't really see that anymore. <sighs> what a day we live in. Back in my day, we used to just get Assad marriages. Actually, no, back in my day, I was, my people were slaughtered and killed. Being Native American is fun. What kind of people are you physically, emotionally, and romantically attracted to? This is in no way trying to devalue your relationship. I'm just curious. Oh my god, like, he has to be like, oh, oh my god, my dream guy has to be like, have a, be rich, uh, be my baby daddy, pay my bills, and he can look like well, whoever he want, unless he got money, shoot. Um, let's see, I don't know. Emotionally, someone who's very driven, someone who's very passionate, something that when they talk about something they really love, they have like, this glow in their eye that they can keep going on forever about, and they just love talking about it. It's something that, because when a person's passionate about something, that means they don't give up on things. They don't give up, give up on the things they love, even if people are against it. And that's something that I can look forward to, forward to in a relationship, because that means they won't give up on us. And I feel like that's, passion is very important in a relationship. Mm -hmm. And uh, romantically attractive to people who, I don't want to say always put me first, because, I mean, let's face it, we, it's, it's reality, it's real world, shit happens, and sometimes you have to come second. I understand that completely. But I guess people who, there's trust, there's communication, and we always make time for each other. We don't go just like, three weeks without speaking, you're just like, oh hey, yeah, sorry, I was too busy doing things, doing my own thing, you understand, you do your own thing. Mm. I mean, yeah, I do like space, but I don't like not having someone if I'm dating someone. Like, I, um, me and Kevin right now, we're great, because we make the time to talk to each other. I mean, yeah, we haven't Skyped in forever because we've both been busy out of our minds, but we still make the time to text. We still make time to say goodnight to each other. We still make sure the relationship keeps going, and that's what a relationship is. It's work. And a lot of people just fall into one, and they're just like, oh my god, just like, I didn't know it was going to be this hard. And then as soon as something goes wrong, they're just like, I can't deal with this. I can't deal with your shit. Uh-uh, I'm out. Peace, bitches. And then that's it. <laughs> then they're just begging your ex. <laughs> That's another personal story that I just don't want to talk about. But a relationship is work. That's why it's a relationship. Because two people are running that ship. I don't I don't get the metaphor there, but you understand. Alright, so anyway, that's why I think about my QA Friday. These are my answers, those are my questions. And leave a comment down below on what should I answer next week. Hmm. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Stay awesome. Bye!